end on this episode of Please Let Me Off at the Next Stop. We have this from that park place. The Lord of the Rings, The War of the Rahirim, to introduce long-lost tribe of female warriors led by Helm Hammerhand's daughter. At this point, we have to assume that that Hollywood just wants to lose. They are saying, okay, down with the ship is our motto. We are going to go out there. We are going to create the worst content the world has ever seen. We are going to shame every single person that has constructive criticism and a negative point about our product. And we are going to lose everything. Our fan base, our money, subscribers, all of it. Because we think, for some odd reason, that female-led products in 2024 are really going to work. It sounds crazy, but why are they doing this? Whenever you see female-led today, you know it's going to be terrible. Years and years and years ago, female-led just meant character that just so happens to be female. The Hunger Games, no one had a problem with the Hunger Games. Kill Bill Volume 1 and 2, no one had a problem with those movies, right? But, but oh no no, those days are gone. Those days are gone forever. Because right now, female-led essentially means our product is going to be one of the worst things you've ever seen, and we are going to have all the built-in excuses we could possibly use to deflect any sort of criticism whatsoever. And apparently, Peter Jackson is the executive producer on this movie. I don't remotely believe that at all. I don't believe that Peter Jackson, this guy with a thousand Oscars under his belt, said, you know what we're going to do? I'm going to be the executive producer on a female-led product. And it's going to do well. What a, what, a, what a time to be alive. And like I said, when I soon as I saw Peter Jackson, executive producer, I believe that's a name alone and that's it. Just like Sam Raimi with Multiverse of Madness, that guy wasn't directing the movie. No, 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 no. They just put him on the poster so you would go, wow, Sam Raimi, that guy did some great movies in the past. This is going to be a fantastic movie. Same thing with this one. Lord of the Rings right now, dead in the water product. Rings of Power, hysterical flop, Gollum video game, killed an entire company. And now we have this. Sure, you know what? It looks pretty cool. The anime style, it looks absolutely fantastic. But as soon as you see that female led to it, you know what you're in store for. The article says, Not only is Helm's unnamed daughter, which the film has named Hera, the main protagonist of the film, but according to Drew Taylor at The Wrap, she is able to ride horses and communes with the Great Eagles. Riding horses in the Lord of the Rings universe is now a special skill? Oh wow, she's such a great character. She can ride horses. Is she a parallelogram or something? Is there a reason why she should not normally be able to ride horses? Communicate with the Great Eagles, I, I guess, but is she just going to be a, a, an overt Mary Sue at this point though? Goes on to say, furthermore, she calls on the power of the seemingly lost tribe of female warriors to drive out the Dendolins from Rohan. Oh, so it's kind of like Echo, where she can call upon the spirits of the ancient ones of the tribe to, to help her out and make her stronger. Okay, so now we have a character who has the ability to harness the, the, the better skills of the ancients. And can ride horses. And is a female. In 2024. All expectations of this of this product out the window. As soon as I saw it was announced. Like wow this looks really interesting. An animated Lord of the Rings Japanese style product. With Peter Jackson producing. How could this possibly go wrong? You know why? Because in 2024. In Hollywood. In mainstream media today. They cannot write women to save their lives. So yeah, I'm not I'm not running to go see us in the theaters. Anything with girl boss character, female led, those days are done. Those days are long gone because you know it's gonna happen. But in the end, what do you guys think about that? Are you excited for this movie? Do you think it's gonna be nothing more than a Mary Sue girl boss extravaganza? What do you guys think about that?